Hello, welcome to Webio Futures, bite-sized educational resources at the forefront of digital marketing. In this video, I will cover how technology can help but also hinder your ABM strategy. There are lots of companies out there who claim their technology can help revolutionize your ABM process, but do they really help? Now, don't get me wrong, some of these technologies are truly brilliant and can help, but like anything, before investing in technology, you need to have clearly defined both your goals and your process. If you have not done this, how can you decide what technology is best for you? First, let's look at your goals. This is a good table from Smart Insights and shows how you should approach technology and ABM. If you are targeting fewer companies with a higher value in your ABM strategy, then doing this manually will get you your best ROI. However, if you're looking to adopt ABM at scale, then technology will need to be introduced. When defining your goals, look at how many companies you're going to need to prospect, what kind of conversion rate you're looking to achieve, then work out the timings of your campaigns to see if this is feasible in a manual process or do you need to automate some of the steps. If you feel you need to automate, then look at the most time-consuming parts of the process that offer the least value in return. Stages such as researching companies and prospects can be easily automated using tools available such as Leadspace, Sixth Sense, and many more. When researching your contacts, you can again automate parts of this process, but make sure you do not over-automate, as this will remove the personalized element to your campaign. Make sure you are taking the time to really research your contacts, but when looking for things such as contact information or social accounts, there are tools that can help with this. A few examples are Salesforce Data and Lead Genius. When looking to create high quality personalized content for your ABM contacts, you will need to assess what resources you have in-house. Do you have someone who can create this level of content that is really going to have an impact on your contacts? Do you need to look into a content agency to come up with the topics and content for the articles and content, or can you create topics in-house and just outsource the creation? If you look to outsource, make sure the content is unique to you make sure they understand that it's meant to be unique to that individual. Say you were writing about digital marketing trends in 2019. How would you personalize this to your ABM target? Could you quote their company in the article or look at an area they are not currently performing in and offer advice in this sector? From your process, you will know how many touch points you are planning to have and how long it will take to plan and implement these. So you now know whether you need to leverage some kind of technology to help implement this section of your campaign. If you are targeting more than 50 companies through ABM, then I can almost guarantee you will need to use some kind of tool here, tools such as Marketo, HubSpot, and Salesforce. Those will allow you to build workflows for how to interact with your prospects and allow you to focus on the content and reporting of metrics. These tools will also give you key stats about the workflows and show you areas that are not performing as well as expected. Then you can focus on improving these areas of your process and ensure you're delivering the expected conversion rates for your campaigns. One of the key aspects of ABM is personalization and deciding how you're going to achieve this on mass will be a key decision. This can become a hugely time consuming element of ABM, but it will also be the most important. As we discussed earlier with content, you could also look to an agency to create this for you depending on the internal resources you have available. But with elements such as personalizing your website or blog, you will need some form of custom web development or third-party technology to help you with this. Whilst tools such as HubSpot and Optimizely can offer some form of customization, the prospect needs to be in your CRM initially or fill out a form for them to be able to do this. If a company comes onto your site and they match your ABM target market, why are you not looking to personalize them from the outset? With Webio, you can target based on industry, company size, location, and even referral path. For instance, if you have created an ABM specific campaign, then why should your website not match the look and feel of these campaigns to have the highest impact? You can use the same imagery and content to truly have a great impact. This is an area that can be automated. However, the analysis should still be done some part manually so that you can truly understand how your process is performing. Where can you get the data from on your engagement? Can you use tools such as Supermetrics to automate this reporting process from multiple accounts? Marketing Land creates an ABM scorecard to track how each segment is performing. This allows you to track how your funnel is performing by segment. We hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to comment below the video should you have any questions and one of the team will get back to you. Follow at Webio Global on LinkedIn to see the latest Webio futures assets in your feed as they go live.